Hi, good afternoon. We're on Friday. We're on the back end of the 11th hole out on the course. Um, I've just been speaking to Scott and getting some knowledge about what they've been doing finishing up on the 11th hole. Um, so I'm just going to pass you over to Scott now. He's going to explain exactly what's been happening. You can see this big thick lump of peat that they've pulled out one of the drainage channels here. This goes to, uh, uh, he's a lot responsible for holding water. Is that right, Scott? It is, yeah. What we've got here is this is a solid block which has come out, as you can see, it's a perfect shape of what the digger has. And this is what we're digging through. Uh, this is under the ground on all along the 11th fairway. Um, if you feel that, I mean, I know it's frozen now, but yeah. that is just a boggy mess. If you smell it, it's very stagnant because it's just holding water. So what we've done is we've extended the drains in front of the 11th green, uh, which was holding water. We've extended them to the back of the bunker uh, and renewed, renewed all the stone there with 6 mil uh, clean pebble uh, and topped off with a US root zone. Uh, once it's turfed, it hopefully it'll be level and the front of the green is going to be drier for your approach shots. Is this the old stuff that's come out of the drainage channel? This stuff? is the old stuff that's come out, which is still good stone, which we've left in around the pipe, but we've topped off with a 6 mil round it, uh, on top of that, should I say, as a blinding layer. That's a smaller gravel, is it, the 6 mil? A smaller gravel, yeah. yeah. Okay. And that, that's your 20 to 10 mil, yeah. which was the old spec of what they used to recommend at SDRI, but specs have changed as time goes on. But same again, I mean, you get that good stone down there, that dra that, that stone is going to drain better than that because that yeah. is just a solid block. Yeah, nothing and coming through that. Nothing's coming through that at all. Just tell the members over here about this example of the, um, the verti draining that you're giving there on this thick layer of turf that's been, that's been dug out. Well, as you can see, this turf that's come out, yet again with the digger, uh, that's the turf from the front of the green. This layer here is your thatch layer. This is all your dead dying roots and stems and stuff which accumulate over the year. This is why you scarify on your greens. This is what we want to get rid of. Just hold your water like a sponge. But if you look on the, the back side of it, you can see these patterns of roots that have come through. And you've seen there is quite a pattern of them. This is what we do with the vertidraining where we're piercing through that. Um, as the tines go down from the vertidrain, as it gets to its full hilt, it gives a little kick and a flick, so it disturbs all underneath the ground, the subsoils. It breaks up the subsoils and helps the roots, as you can see, get down in the channel so we get a deeper root in rather than just all the roots and everything just staying up there in the thatch where a lot of the moisture is being retained. So it gets the roots going deeper. So in a, in a, um, a very dry period of drought, these roots are further down in the soil profile which are going to still be able to retain moisture. Where as soon as that thatch layer dries up, if you didn't have these longer roots, your plants are going to drought straight away. Anything, yeah. So your deeper yeah. rooting is what you have to do. Okay, that's fantastic. Thanks for that insight, Scott. Uh, we'll just take your necks over to the front of the green um, and we'll be back in a few minutes, a few seconds, sorry, just to show you what, uh, what the lads have been up to. Right, there. here we have one of the exposed drains that we've done. Uh, we've renewed it. This is the six mil clean stone. It's just being topped off now with the 50-50 uh, USGA root zone. Um, now hopefully once this is all turfed, it's going to be leveler and the approach to the green is going to be a lot better. Fantastic, that's Scott. Okay, so again another insight into what the lads have been up to this week on the 11th hole. Scott reckons they should be open soon, so watch this space for that. Uh, I'll just give you a quick update on what happened last weekend. Last weekend's Winter League was won by Mr Captain's team, Mr Vice, Liam Grogan and Steve Wright with 91 points. They won the card playoff from Paul Hopkinson, Lee Booth, Gary Hartley and Tony Costello. Tuesday competition, Division 1 was won by Dave Capper with 36 points from Nigel Wiley, 34. In Division 2, a fantastic 39 points from Jim Booth, followed by Brian Davis on 38. Twos on Tuesday were worth 13.20, and again, twos from last weekend were worth 20 quid. Everything's been inputted onto members' accounts so far. Let me tell you about tomorrow. We're going to have a team waltz tomorrow, one, two, three to count in rotation, 90% handicap. Not too sure on what course Scott's going to present us with, but uh, we'll put it out as soon as we can on a broadcast message so you're all informed look forward to seeing you then follow me share this video see you soon